Welcome everyone. This is a new project I'm working on right here. I just started it this week. Now this is made with Godot, which is a game engine that's free to use. It's it's completely free license. You can you don't have to give them any money, but this one's gonna be a commercial project. And I'm thinking I'm gonna give them a donation because this engine is pretty freaking awesome. No strings attached on whatever you do on here. Oh, he's a little bugged right there. So here we are on Blender where I make the models. And I'm making his head here. And I make all the different body parts as separate pieces because I don't... On the UV images that you'll see later on, if you have the entire body on the UV image, it's a lot to manage. So, as you can see, the body, the head, the nose, the ears, making them all as separate objects the arms and legs too here I'm modeling I'm shaping them from the vertices themselves in edit mode using the mirror modifier everything is the same on the other side those red lines are seams I cut that's his hat sort of like a Robin Hood style hat and there are his boots and shoes giving him clothing a cape I end up throwing away that cape Looks like he has the wind in his face though, doesn't it? His uh, chest plate right there, his helmet. My first attempt at hair for him, before I do this method. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the first person to come up with that method. This took a long time to do. This is one week's worth of work that you're going to see in this video. So I began on Monday, and this video should be coming out tonight on Saturday. There's his hair, and you'll notice when I start texturing him that uh, his hair, even though he has a hair, a separate hair piece, I texture hair underneath it, and there's a reason for that. The uh, hair would, the hair object would actually clip through his hat or helmet, so there's got to be a hair underneath it, too. So I have to make the hair invisible whenever I do that. This is the oak tree. I made that leaf texture and the bark textures on Krita. This took a long time to do, that especially. This took about one day. This was one day's worth of work, this oak tree. <laughs> I kept trying to, I, mostly because I tried to do the branches the same way I do the leaves. You know how with the oak tree you got those oak branches weaving through the leaves and you can see the sun through it all? I was trying to capture that, but it wasn't working out so well, as you can see right here in the footage. I was, there was something wrong, something messed up with my uh, node editor, my node editor settings that you see on the lower right. So I start making its uh, roots, and the way I made the roots, I ended up using for the branches. You'll see later, I took a break, because I just got so frustrated with it all. This is where I took the break, and I made the hair. So this is the hair that you see when he's wearing a hat or a helmet. Actually, when he's wearing the helmet, he has a metal coif, so you can't see his hair at all. That's when I really felt the hat looked right, the Robin Hood style hat. When I lowered, when I raised those vertices behind the point, it really looked like that Robin Hood style hat. Gave it a feather. I, I'm kind of fond of older graphics. Uh, there's something about them that's, I, I guess you could call it um, abstract. It, it forces you to use your imagination more. So you'll see that where places where a lot of people would actually use an actual model, I like to use a texture to engage with the player's imagination. I wanted to do that with the branches, but I ended up doing this instead because I was just running into so, so many difficulties. And messing with the canopy a little bit. I think I duplicated the canopy and uh, rotated the duplication around to add extra leaves. In edit mode, I made the branches more squir squirrely looking, more um, unpredictable where they would go. And here, here we are on Godot, which is the program I was talking about earlier on in the video, the game engine. I love this engine. <laughs> I think I discovered it in 2018. Uh, here we are, just flying through the branches. 
I was having a lot of fun. Felt like I was a little songbird making a nest or looking for worms to eat. I'm really fond of oak trees, obviously. <laughs> I wouldn't have spent so much time working on it. Some of the sped up footage might get a little blurry. I don't know if that's YouTube or Hit Film Express doing it, but I'm sorry, I don't know if there's anything I could do f about it. <laughs> but Godot is perfect. Um, I was going to get Unity back in 2018, and I was having trouble figuring out the, uh, the contract or whatever it was supposed to be. I couldn't... F there were three different options. They were both very, all three of them were kind of complex, in my opinion. And then I was looking into um, Unreal, which wants 20% of your profit. And, I mean, I'm, I'm going to give a donation to Godot when I make a profit, obviously. But, and I would have done the same thing for Unreal, but, I mean, they could have... I don't know what their situation was, but I didn't feel like doing it. All this work, and if I only make, I don't know, $100, $20 gets taken away. <laughs> it just didn't seem like a deal I wanted to make. But then I finally got smart and looked up a top 10 list of... Oh, these are the gauntlets, by the way, interrupting myself. I'm really happy with how the gauntlets turned out. Armored boots are kind of stupid, but I'll give them a stat raise anyways. But I looked up a top 10 list of free game engines, found Godot, and it's working out. He's an elf, and I decided to give him insect wings. I don't know. I don't know how people are going to think of that. But I find it a little more fey like That's my best chainmail texture so far right there. Um, I used to just do rings, uh, uh, like circles. Turned out looking horribly wrong. So when I uh, looked up a reference image, I ended up making much better chainmail. So all the weapons, that's the longbow. This is the spear. There's a javelin, I think. Making the morning star extruding different faces and then merging them. The quiver is a transparency effect for the uh, arrows sticking out. Like I said, I, I, like to, I like the abstract quality of it all, where you have to use your imagination more. You, and here I'm texturing it. Really happy with how the morning star and the flail turned out this mace right here. This is the two-handed sword. Gave it a blue hilt. Put gems in it. And this is the uh, one-handed sword. I'm really happy with how this sword turned out. But uh, some of these things are I'm not finished texturing. I just had to carry on with the project with them not fully finished. Including that shield. Listen to a lot of music while I'm making these. Listen to CCR, Flattened Scruggs. Lots of wonderful songs. Doing the animations, the armature. Falling animations, running animations. And here we're in Godot. I had a lot of trouble with his bug wings. The translucency wasn't working out so well for me. If anyone has a suggestion or a tutorial you know of to help out with that, please let me know. I'm using Godot 3.4.2, I think, by the way. Most of this code you can see in uh, Code with Tom, but I added in this bit that I'm showing here. So I'm using a match statement to code with the uh, animation player. Most people say code with the animation tree, but I haven't been able to get the animation tree to do quite what I want it to do. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the animation tree. So... I use the animation player and I just create a match statement. Maybe I'm doing more work than I need to be doing, but I have been able to figure out the animation player, so I'm coding with the animation tree as it is. This is a landscape just for the... Uh, I made this partially for practice and partially for uh, um, the test that I'm going to be running here in just a second, but this won't be in the final product. Maybe I'll put the map out there for y'all to download somewhere, but uh, it won't be in the final game. And here I'm putting the oak tree in. This was really exciting for me. 
Now we're, we're no longer in fast motion. This was earlier today. Really happy with how the oak tree turned out. I got an even better one that's not in this video. <laughs> Placing it on top of the hill there. Very soon I'm going to duplicate it. <laughs> Maybe I should have sped this up. You get to see some footage in real time though at least. And the, the roots blend in very well with the landscape. And I rotate them every time because with them rotated, they, you're seeing each tree from a different angle. And that way they don't look like just a duplicate of the same tree over and over again. And I think very soon we're going to see some gameplay footage. I had to uh, go to um, OBS and switch the uh, camera over. Here we are. And you're going to see that's even buggier than what you saw earlier. <laughs> yeah, so the detection on whether or not he's on the floor or not, or on the ground or not, is really janked up for some reason. So I don't know what's wrong with him. But I, I think I end up adding a uh, ray at the bottom of his collision shape. And that makes it a little bit better, but there's still many places where... It doesn't work out so well. Yeah, but you now we get to see the oak tree. It doesn't look too good right here in this footage. <laughs> so I ended up having to fix that. So I add the ray and I start experimenting with the code to see how to make it work out. I have to put in some signals. You can always pause the video and check out the code a little closer detail. As time goes on, I might not show the code so much anymore. Here we are in what I have right now, this moment. This is where I am at. This is one week's worth of work right here. And some point this year, this is going to be a finished game. And you're going to get to buy it and play it for yourself. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, I end up at... I made the ray a little too short, so I end up lengthening it a little bit. So, I gotta add in enemies. There are going to be the orcs, of course, which you've seen in our other videos, but also goblins. Maybe uh, some wildlife, bears, wolves, tigers, or lions. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Fish, octopus. I got to put in a minotaur. Also, there's something called a quack lock we've been thinking of putting in for the longest time. Dungeons, towns, non-player characters, trading, a whole world to explore. We gotta figure out swimming. Yeah, there's that bug again you saw at the beginning. <laughs> so there's also a lot we gotta work out. Maybe we might have play testing later on. But ultimately, this is supposed to become a really big and really awesome project for all of you to enjoy. So sit back, enjoy the medieval music, the free music that I put in the video. Look forward to the cool game that's going to come out. Probably going to call it uh, Archer of Elves, probably. And uh, the games that are going to come after it too. So enjoy. <laughs> 